Yo Internet, today I'm going to have a little contest between the X and Y base set Dollar Tree Packs, the Sun and Moon Dollar Tree Packs, and the XY Evolutions Dollar Tree Packs. I got 25 of each, and I want to see which one has the best pulls. So leave a comment and let me know which one you think it'll be. And we'll start with the Sun and Moon, and for now I'm going to set these off to the side. So we got a Cosmog, a Reverse Hollow Tora Cat. I'll set the best ones up right here. A Great Ball. We got a Diglett. Ooh, a Lunala GX. Awesome and a Corsola. We've got a Cosmog, a Shelder, and a Water Energy. Zubat, a Reverse Hollow Dratini, and a fire energy. Litten, a beware, and a lima. Carvana, ooh, a dragonite which I've heard from watching other people's videos that these seem to be really common in these Dollar Tree Sun and Moon packs, but that's the first one I've ever gotten. I wouldn't be upset to get a few more. It's a pretty nice card. And a Lily. A Stuffle. A reverse Hollow Cutie Fly and a Dartrix. Bump the camera. We got an Alolan Meowth, a Beware, and a Bulldore. Drowsy, an Incineroar, is that a rare? That's a rare, and a Steel Energy. I almost said Metal Energy. We've got a Grubbin, a Growlithe, and a Poliwhirl. We've got a Cosmog, an Eevee, and a Howl. We've got a Litten, a Cloister, which is a rare, and a Team Skull Grunt. We've got a Carvana, a Reverse Hollow Switch, and a Pass Simeon, which is an uncommon. We've got a Poplio. Ooh, a Toxapex Hollow. That's cool. It's got the spikes as an ability. Toxic Spikes, and a Dark Energy. We got a Growlithe, a Reverse Hollow Morlull, and a Water Energy.
we've got a Marini, a Lillipop, and a Grand Bull, which is an uncommon. A Sandile, a Surskit, and a Pokemon Catcher. <laughs> Oops. We've got a Carvana, a Zubat, and a Metapod. We've got a Paris. Oh, no way. I think that's an ultra rare. I don't think it's a, um, a hyper rare. We got the textured Team Skull Grunt. That's awesome. But don't be dissuaded if you picked either the Evolutions or the X and Y base set because it still might be topped. I've pulled a couple of different different textured full arts out of these types of packs before, especially the Evolutions. Grubbin, Crabrawler, Chargebug, Cutie Fly, Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and a Metapod. Let's see. We got four packs left from Sun and Moon. Oops. We've got a Stuffle, Carvana, and a Nest Ball. Dratini, a Lowland Diglett, and a Pyakyu Mukyu. We've got another a Lowland Diglett, a Dratini, and a Metapod. And this is the last Sun and Moon pack. We've got a Spiro, ooh, and a Gumshoes EX, as well as a Torah Cat. All right, so let's open up the Evolutions next. All right, so now for the Evolutions packs. We got Staryu. Tangela and Porygon. Porygon's uncommon. We've got Electabuzz, a Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and a Haunter. Ponyta, Drowsy, and a Revive. Rattata, a Mega Pidgeot EX, and a Coughing. A Poliwag. Reverse Hollow Growlithe and a Haunter. Voltorb, Reverse Hollow Brock's Grit and a Charmeleon. Rattata, Reverse Hollow Rattata and a Nidorino.
Tangela Ponyta and a potion. Seal, Reverse Hollow Nidoran Male, and Kakuna. Diglett, Rattata, and a Venusaur Spirit Link. Star you, seal, and a revive. Ponyta, ooh, a reverse hollow arcanine, and a revive. These packs are really great for rounding out the reverse hollows you need. Since these packs are a dollar, Nidoran, Dugong, it's a rare, I think, yep, and a Nidorino. And since you only get one reverse hollow per pack in normal boosters, with this you have a chance to get four reverse hollows for the same amount of money. So that's one thing I really like about these. Diglett. Ooh, reverse hollow double colorless energy. That's awesome. Potion. Volpix. Electabuzz. Revive. So duo, electrode, and a maintenance. Rattata. Oh, nice. A Machamp. Look at that hollow. That's really cool. And a Pidgeot Spirit Link. Charmander, Psychic Energy, and Haunter. Pikachu, Machop, and a Venusaur Spirit Link. Let's see, we got five left of the Evolution Packs. Onyx, ooh, nine tails. Oops, and maintenance or no energy retrieval. We got Charmander, ooh, a Chansey, and a Metapod. Doing pretty good in the evolutions too. We've got a Seal, a Starmie, and a Pokedex. Poliwag, Reverse Hollow Hitmonchan, and Metapod. Very last Evolutions pack. Magikarp, Fighting Energy, and a Pokedex. So, next up is the X and Y base set. So, move over the Evolutions cards for now. And here's the 25 XY base set packs. 
which in the past I've gotten some really good pulls from the Venusaur pack arts in particular for some reason. I don't know if you saw that video before that I did where I was opening these and I just pulled all kinds of crazy good stuff from the Venusaur packs. Shelder, Slurpuff, Frogadier, Finnekin, a Jigglypuff, Shadow Circle, Timber, a Ponyard, and another Shadow Circle, Slugma, Reverse Hollow Go Goat. And a Spoopa. We got a Star U, a Swirlix, and an Electrode, which is an uncommon. A Bidoof. Ooh, a hollow Gorgeist. And a Dublade. Dublade. Do Blade. Ponyard. Spoink. And a Great Ball. Get on out of there. A Punkaboo, Pumpkaboo, Reverse Hollow Pumpkaboo, and a Professor's Letter. Panpour, Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, and another Dewblade. Fairy Energy, a Cloister, which is a rare, and a Hard Charm. A Bunnelby, a Doduo, and a Frogadier. Fletchling, a Reverse Hollow Go-Go, and a Dewblade. Fletchling, Ekans, and a Fairy Garden. Looks like we're going to start getting into the Venusaur packs. Hopefully I'll get really good pulls out of these again. We've got a Hone Edge. Ooh, a Zoroark. And a Team Flare Grunt. We've got a Spoink, a Hone Edge, and a Corsola. We've got a Pan Sage, a Pikachu, and a Professor Sycamore. We've got a Shelder, a Blastoise EX, and a Hard Charm. We've got a Doe Duo, a Lillipop, and an Evo Soda.
We've got a Diglett. Ooh, a nice Skarmory EX. Joust. 30 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. 80 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it, this attack does 40 more damage. That's a pretty nice card. And a girder. We've got a Panpour, a Grumpig, which I believe is a rare. Yeah, it's a rare. And a Quilladin. The last Venusaur pack. We've got a Scatterbug, a Swirlix, and an Inkay. Let's see, we've got four more packs. We've got a Star U, a Pan Sage, and a Max Revive. A Froki, a Reverse Hollow Pikachu, and a Super Potion. Kidu, Voltorb, and Crocodile. Very last pack. Spoink, Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff, and a Crocorock. So, real quick, I'm going to organize the pulls from the XY base set and then come back and we'll go through all three and see who won. Alright, so to start off, we'll go through the best pulls from Sun and Moon. We got an Incineroar, Cloyster, Beware, a Reverse Hollow Torcat, Drowsy, Morlol, Switch, Cutie Fly, Reverse Dratini, Dragonite Hollow, Toxapex Hollow, a Gumshoes GX, a Lunala GX, and the Full Art Textured Team Skull Grunt. For the XY base set, we got Cloyster, Grumpig, Rhyhorn Reverse, Pumpkaboo Reverse, a Reverse Hollow Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff, two Reverse Hollow Go Goats, a Hollow Gorgeist, a Hollow Zoroark, Hollow Slurpuff, a Blastoise EX, and a Skarmory EX. And for evolutions, we got Electrode, Starmie, Dugong, Drowsy, Nidoran, Rattata, Brock's Grit, Growlithe, Arcanine, Hitmonchan, Double Colorless Energy, Machamp Hollow, Ninetales, Chansey, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. So let me know which set you think won and had the best pulls. And also, if you want, let me know what's your favorite card from each one of these sets. Have a good night and come back tomorrow for another video.